Hey, what's up guys? It's Brian here, Brian's All Maintenance. All right, you guys have asked for it. I'm so excited to finally do this. The rain has finally held off. This is our 2019 trailer setup video. Let's have some fun. Let's check it out right here, right now. All right, so what's up guys? It's Brian here, Brian's Law Maintenance, and man, it has been a quick minute here. We've been mowing grass like crazy. The uh, season has finally broke for us. We've been slammed with spring cleanups, and we're already uh, mowing. This is our second week mowing, but a lot of you guys wanted to see the trailer setup video. Uh, these are super popular on YouTube for a lot of you guys. You guys enjoy seeing the uh, evolution, the upgrades of my trailer setup, a lot of your guys' trailer setups, right? And it's just a fun way to kind of get the wheels turning a little bit, see what's new, see what's out there, uh, see the progress people are making, of course. Um, you know, and honestly, I super enjoy these videos. In fact, when I was watching um, all of you guys, when I was first getting my YouTube channel started, uh, like in 2016 and 17, like I love these videos and I love seeing the upgrades that everybody had made and it just really helped me out personally. So if this stuff helps you guys out, leave me a comment down below, shoot the video a big thumbs up. Um, I definitely uh, enjoy stuff like this. So this is just a quick walkthrough of our equipment. now. I will say this, it is the uh, first part of May and it's taken me a minute to do this video because we have the new mowers here that you guys can see and I wanted to wait until we traded in my other Laser Z uh, for the new one and then we have the new Starus here behind me that Xmark provided. Um, all things being said, uh, I want to give you guys a walkthrough of the whole setup. Um, it has been just a crazy spring season for us so uh, now I can finally shoot this video and have some fun with you guys. Um, one thing I wanted to say before I do a walk around here showing you guys the new mowers and the equipment. Uh, a lot of stuff in my uh, whole setup, I did purchase. Now, I will say this, over the last 24 months, as you guys can imagine, a lot of stuff has been sent to us too. And I say this with the most humble spirit, the most honestly guys, I would have never thought. Like, it's a long cure YouTube channel, okay? We're just having fun, shooting videos, cutting grass. Uh, I'm just trying to help you guys out for real. Like I have no hidden agendas. Like I'm not an insurance salesman, okay? Like I have nothing to sell you guys. Um, and so that being said, a lot of stuff was sent to us in the last 12 to 18 months that we're now using. But I will tell you this, I know exactly what it's like to hustle, what it's like to struggle, what it's like going from a crappy backpack blower to a new backpack blower that costs you 600 bucks. And so I don't take that stuff for granted. So things being said, none of this is bragging. None of this is uh, I'm better than you. It's nothing like that, okay? In all sincerity, I do this for you guys to help you guys out, get the wheels spinning, and just show you guys what you can have and have access to. We're not you know, rich, we're not, you know, millionaires with making money on YouTube or cutting grass or any of this stuff, okay? I'm just a, literally a regular dude. I always say, the more you talk to me, honestly, the probably the, the least uh, impressed you'll probably be, okay? And, uh, cause I'm just a regular nerd, okay? That being said, let's get into the uh, setup video. Uh, I wanna show you guys all the different products that we have access to, tons more at home. And then I will say this, always a little teaser in there, right? But I have a special announcement that I wanna give you guys at the end. So make sure you walk all the way through, do not jump all the way through to the video. These videos take a long time to shoot and to edit, so don't just skip to the to the end, okay? Watch the video the whole way through, and then wait for the big special announcement, all right? So, anyway, a lot of words. I just feel so excited about doing a 2019 setup video. It has been non-stop rain, so I'm excited about finally uh, sharing what you guys uh, with you guys what we have access to. All right, without further ado, let's go through all the equipment and show you guys what we have going on here. Now, first things first, the X Mark Starus. Yes, finally the new stand-on. I'm super excited about this. We've been demoing stand-ons all last summer, all last uh, year in 2018. I did not know that Xmark would come out with a new stand-on in the summer or fall like they did at GIE. Now, outside of that, I also did not know we'd be partnered up with Xmark and they would provide one of these for us to use on the channel. A lot of you guys have seen guys like Chance Daily Hustle with Bobcat and other folks using other different brands and Gravely, if, if you will. Uh, so I'm excited about Team Xmark. If you're a Team Xmark guy, Give a thumbs up. And if you thumbs down, that just means you want to be Team X Mark, right? So just having fun here. All right, so here's the deal. We got the Cowie Power Plant on the 52 inch uh, sized mowing deck. This is the Ultra Cut 4 Series deck. Uh, it's a great mower. We've been using it. We have about 13, maybe 14 hours on it so far. Let's see if I can start it up and show you guys what we have access to. Um, I'm going to talk about the ride comfort. I want to talk to you about the hand positions, the deck lever, uh, anti scalp wheels, couple talking points. Just a lot of you guys are asking about this guy. Right here, 
Hard to see probably, but we have 16.6 hours on it. So we've already been putting this thing through its paces, which is cool. Talking points for the mower that you guys are probably interested in. Number one is the deck pin or the deck height adjustment. We have it right here. I feel like it's actually in a good spot. It's very convenient. Um, the brake lever here, it's a little low, a little shallow. A lot of folks have been commenting on that. I do wish it was maybe more on the tower. Uh, if you're a little bit taller, it is gonna be more inconvenient to grab to bring it down and pull it up when you're on the mower. But if you're shorter, I'd say short being six foot or under, it shouldn't be that big of a nuisance for you. Um, I do like the handles on it. Uh, everything up here on the tower, a lot of visibility. Everything is pretty much at where you'd expect it to be. If you're holding the uh, uh, PTO engagement safety in, you pop it, everything's pretty much right where you would expect it to be. Choke on the outside, throttle on the inside, which is good. Um, the deck lever assist, it doesn't stick out, so I'm very happy about that. And then uh, no anti-scalp rollers on the 52. I think they're available on the 60, but I'm glad I went with the 52 because it's much more maneuverable on boulevards and it's not scalping, right, on my residential subdivisions lawns that I mostly cut. Um, so far, so good. We have the uh, OCD. This is the X Mark one. It just goes right here on the side. It has been working out just fine and no real issues. I will definitely keep you guys posted with the Starus as we use it, as we like it. In fact, I think after this video, uh, I have a uh, mowing vlog of just using the Starus. It stripes really nice. I got some footage here I can show you guys in the meantime. Uh, the lines it's laying are beautiful, super nice, super crisp. Pretty much what you guys would expect uh, out of an Xmark mower. So no issues so far with the Starus. Um, I've been standing against it, like I said, for 13 hours. No fatigue in the ankles or the knees or the thighs, a lot of, uh, or the lower back. Some folks were asking about that. You kind of seemed like a little bit more of a pitch versus like this. I haven't noticed any issues with it. If I do have any fatigue, I'll definitely let you guys know. Uh, Xmark provided this and they said, this is the best part, they said, we're not gonna uh, squelch your voice. You can say whatever you want about this unit, good, bad, or ugly. And I said, can I get that in writing? No, <laughs> just having some fun. So anyway, uh, I'm gonna shoot you guys straight with this, an honest review, right? Right? Anything that I can provide info-wise uh, on the stars, if you guys have questions, just let me know. All right, next up we have the Laser Z. Now, this is basically the exact same unit I had. I traded it in for a new one. Uh, this guy right here is the Kohler, I think 34 horse big block. It's a 60 inch Ultra Cut Series 6 deck. Um, this is like the, the cat's meow lawnmower, okay? If you're an Xmark guy, this is the most bad of the bone Xmark they make arguably okay um, and by the way if you guys are using skag if you guys are using right if you guys are using uh, gravely or husqvarna awesome brands too man like if you're using those brands you don't have to you know drink the kool-aid okay i get it um, up where i live my dealer 10 minutes away wine guards all x mark and pretty much red max that's pretty much why you guys see a lot of that here uh, with the brands that we use if you guys are right people or you know ferris or whatever that's awesome. All those other brands for me are at minimum an hour, if not two hours away. It's just not realistic for me to use those brands. Great mowers. I love the Fair Z3, uh, the Right Standard ZK, great mowers. Um, didn't get a chance to use the Gravely Pro Stance, but uh, the Gravely Pro Turn was a good mower. Just didn't cut our kind of grass up here, to be honest with you. Um, you know, even with high lift blades, but anyway. So, so far so good on these guys. We have about seven or eight hour, uh, hours on this mower. Um, I'm gonna be using this for my commercial sites and my acreage, and I love these smaller stand-on with a smaller uh, footprint for my residential uh, subdivision lawns. I have not had any issues productivity-wise on the Starus compared to the Z, because I feel like the Starus is a little bit more maneuverable, especially when I'm making my turns. So I'm kind of making that up, even though it has a uh, smaller cutting deck at 52 inches versus 60, all right? So, quick little walk around here on the Z. As you guys can see, some fresh paint. Honestly, there's no fresh paint anymore. It's all soaked in mud and grass. It's, dude, we've had the craziest rain ever. It's like 2011 all over again. Just caked in mud, the whole deal. Uh, this accessory rack, the Jungle Gym's accessory rack, this actually should mount on the other side. They installed it incorrectly. I've just been busy and haven't cared to switch it. The reason you can't mount it on this side, at least on a Z, is because you have the uh, tube coming up here for the Ultra Cut deck. By the way, do you guys hear the trains? Oh my God, that last video that I did, the maintenance video with all the trains, <laughs> that's real life, man. All right, so 
Awesome uh, with the two mowers, we got the Z and we got the Star S. Uh, another thing that was honestly provided to us uh, was the accelerator bagger. A lot of you guys uh, said if I was gonna get a bagger for the stand on to go with the accelerator. So a little walk around here on this guy. Uh, I don't know the capacity, it's probably, you know, one or two bags worth of, uh, of, of material. This is for like backyards that I do or properties that are a little bit more soaked or wet. Or quite honestly, if we do have the bagger on the Z, at least we can also put a uh, catcher on here. Or if we're mowing grass, I can always keep this with me. And if we have a lawn that we pick up that's super tall, then I can always mow that tall grass, bag it with this thing. Um, in the meantime, if we don't have the bagger system on the Z. So this is something I'm gonna try to find a spot for it uh, inside the trailer and something that we can always keep with us. I'll definitely do some more review videos come fall. We just didn't have a lot of time to use it in the spring. It got to us about a week late. Um, but that's because we were also waiting for the Starus. And so best case scenario, we would have had both uh, early March, but realistic time frames, right? So anyway, accelerator uh, bagger, I'll try to leave a link in the description for that if you guys want to check it out. There you guys go. And it pretty much fits uh, every different brand. There's a bunch of them out there, so check those out. Blowers. Uh, I'm not going to run through these for too long, but we're going to be using the Red Max. We have access to the Echo. We have access to the Steel. Um, I have been so far using the 8500 and the steel the most because um, my employee is always grabbing the Red Max. I'm usually grabbing the steel. That way if customers have to come on out and talk to me, I can use the side start and uh, just pull start it, get back going really quick. And that happened a couple times today. So it's actually really convenient. So steel BR700, Echo 8010. If we have a third or fourth guy, we'll probably use this one. All right, I don't wanna go too long, but let's just do a quick walkthrough of the trailer which is an eight and a half by 16 SureTrack trailer. We have the new Equipment Defender racks. These are new since our last year's uh, 2018 setup video. Got it's 100, like 10 or $115 price point. Brian's 10 does save 10%, which is cool. Gotta have a product plug in every Brian's Law Maintenance video, right? Um, anyway, these are mounted to the wall. Uh, I love them so far. No issues with it. Uh, definitely a much uh, nicer upgrade since the other racks. And you know what? Here's the best part about Equipment Defender. They support the channel and we earn a commission off of those because of you guys, which is very nice. And that goes right in the back into shooting videos like this. So uh, it's not black versus green. It's if you want to support your favorite YouTuber that's helping you guys grow your business. Hey, I appreciate the partnership. Thank you for reciprocating. And there's the train, right? All right. It's crazy. All right. Let's talk about uh, hand tools. God, I think it's the same train guy, right? Head trimmer, Echo 2420. I love this guy. This is my uh, samurai sword. Dude, you gotta love the train, right? <laughs> what is the odds that the same freaking train guy is boot, like just pulling the whistle, man? Dude, having fun, right? All right, hedge trimmer, steel HS56C. Uh, absolutely love it. This is for boxwoods, my fine pruning. I love this hedge trimmer. This is one of my closet favorite hedge trimmers, okay? Uh, down here, we've got the Echo PAS and the Steel Combi. Uh, Brandon's brought on the Combi. Brandon, if you're watching this video, go buy your own. Just having fun. All right. <laughs> Brandon, you owe me a fresh chain, by the way, on my pole pruner. <laughs> Just have fun. Brandon borrows my Combi all the time. What else we got? Uh, all the different attachments, uh, some battery chainsaws, locks. We're still using the Proven Locks. This is another Brian's 10 partner, guys. I would not put anything else on my trailer with everything inside it besides this lock, provenlocks.com. Brian's 10 saves you 10%, which is like 30 to 40 bucks, depending on what you're buying. That's huge. So this right here goes on the coupler and you can't beat it. It's one of the best locks, in my opinion. That's what I'm rocking with, that's what I'm going with. Um, painter buckets, just for trash. We're still rocking sure can gas cans, love sure can. No, we're not endorsed by them or vice versa, but just they're great gas cans, I love them. Uh, not spilling gas is awesome. One thing a lot of you guys wanted to see was all the hand tools and the uh, clips that we use to store them on the roof. These little clips right here are like $4.99, I think, for a two pack. Uh, Home Depot in the specialty screws and nuts section. So you can always check those out. Great for mounting stuff on the ceiling, getting it out of your way. Uh, definitely a nice little perk there. And then equipment wise, last thing I'll wrap up this with before my special little announcement is uh, our hand tools for trimmers and edgers. I love the 2620 trimmer. This was actually sent to us uh, three years ago. I think back when we had about 80 subscribers is when uh, Echo first sent out that first uh, trimmer. And we probably have 
two, three, four hundred hours on it, whatever, it has been a staple little trimmer. I love it, tons of torque. It's probably my favorite trimmer so far. Next up would be the Red Max 260 TS, another great trimmer. But this one is three years old, no issues at all. We uh, have a second one down here from when we were part of the Echo UAG program in 2018 that I sandbagged. So we have a backup, which is our new one. So it'll probably be our new one and this old one will be our backup. Um, but if you guys are Echo fans and you're thinking about the 2620, really, really good trimmer. Highly uh, endorse it. Couldn't, uh, couldn't say anything nicer about it. What else we got? This one right here is my uh, Red Max uh, 2460. If you're a Red Max guy and you live in the Midwest or Michigan or Weingarts supplies you, you have this edger. This is like the staple go-to edger. 2460S, straddle charged. Love it, great edger. And then the other one we're gonna be using, the new one, is the Echo Pro Extreme. Uh, this was provided to us also part of the UAG. Uh, the 2620. Uh, it is a bent shaft or a curved shaft, so I'm not sure um, if I really like that. My employee who's a little bit taller, he's like 6'4", uh, Rob. Uh, he likes it uh, for whatever reason, it just, the debris doesn't shoot at him as much and he really prefers the bent shaft one versus the uh, straight shaft. Um, me personally, I'm kind of the opposite, but hey, we got two, so very blessed to have that. So whatever makes everybody happy, right? Had to replace the starter on this guy, the recoil, but besides that, this uh, unit has been just a great uh, piece of equipment for us. And I'll keep you guys posted how the 2620 works as well. All right, all things being said, quick question for you guys. This is my 2019 trailer setup. I'd love to hear some stats down below in the comment section. Kind of like Lawn Sight. You guys remember Lawn Sight? I really enjoyed uh, watching all the forums back in the day. You guys remember forums? It's like vlogging but different right um if you guys want to leave your 2019 trailer setup and mowing setup down below leave me you know three or four sentences what truck you guys are using what trailer what mower what uh hand tools i think it'd be fun just to participate see what you guys are doing or number two let me know of any new upgrades did you guys buy a new mower or any new hand tools if so let me know um for real guys i read every single comment it takes about a half hour a night to go through all my social media, like comments and all that mess, which I'm very thankful. Um, but I read every comment and I love uh, engaging with you guys and interacting and hearing you guys grow and succeed as well. So, and then outside of that, uh, the last little bit of announcement I have for you guys is outside of like this whole setup, where we live is changing. So Liz and I are moving and I'm gonna have a garage finally. And I can't wait to have a tool bench in a tool corner. And I'm gonna make it sort of like a YouTube studio. It's gonna be amazing. It's not like Casey Neistat's studio, okay? So relax if you're a big Casey Neistat fan. Um, but I wanna have a corner and I thought maybe I could do some podcast stuff. Um, maybe just do some like meme reviews, kind of like PewDiePie or just talk about stuff that you guys think is relevant. Uh, I got a nice little Yeti mic and I want to just honestly have like a cool corner where I can review tools. Um, we got Milwaukee and DeWalt is sending us stuff. And a lot of information that you guys keep asking that I just didn't have like a studio per se to show off to you guys. So if you like those little three or four minute kind of review videos, let me know. And I can always sprinkle those into uh, the mowing videos, the equipment review videos, and all the FAQ type videos that I've been doing lately. So um, a lot of words. Hope you guys are really enjoying this one. If so, leave a comment down below. That's pretty much it. So that's the big announcement. Uh, pretty much June 15th, I think, is when we get the new place. Mark Thomas Builder is going to help me uh, make a studio in the garage. I'm so excited for it. It's going to be awesome. If you guys have any suggestions too, like what the studio should look like, or maybe if I can include anything, let me know. But I'm really excited about having the Yeti microphone in there, setting up a camera, and just doing a bunch of videos for you guys uh, in another work environment. So the business expanding, life is good, business is up big time. Um, couldn't complain, guys. All right, all things being said, super appreciate you guys even watching. Uh, I know it's a little bit lengthy video, but this is my 2019 uh, lawn care trailer setup video. If you guys have any questions on the mowers, if you... I almost just died. <laughs> I love this train conductor, man, it's awesome. <laughs> How long can you pull the whistle? <laughs> All right. Jeez, old Pete's. Dude, this is real life.